Hello, welcome to our live stream video today. I'm Nicole Belanda. I'm the customer experience manager at Rockwell Automation, and I'm gonna be your host today for this live stream. We are going to talk about the details of one of my favorite parts of Automation Fair, and that's the expo. So where you can go to see all of the different booths, all of the different things that are being shown off on the show floor. So I'll be joined today by Johannes, who manages our partner network, and he'll be talking about how partners are participating in the show, I'll also be joined by Jenna, who has been taking point on the Rockwell experience, and she's going to share some of the Rockwell highlights of what to expect in the expo. Hi, Johannes. Hi, Jenna. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Delighted to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be hosting this video and talking about one of the more engaging parts of Automation Fair, which is the expo. There is a lot to see in the expo. If you've never seen it in person, it's huge. There are new products, new services, new solutions. So absolutely, you'll find that out there. You'll also find our partners exhibiting on the show floor. And then there's thought leadership as well. We have our bold conversations that are hosted right out on the show floor. So lots to see out there. And speaking of new products, before we move on, we got our hands on a new sizzle reel for you, which we're going to play at the end of this live stream. So if you have the time to stick around and wait for that, it'll run through the new hardware, software, and services that are coming from Rockwell Automation at Automation Fair. So stick around so you have a chance to see what some of those are. Um, and for those of you who are in the comments, you know we love to hear from you in the comments. It's so fun to hear where you're from, what you find interesting about our conversation. So we have a question for you. What are you looking forward to seeing? on the show floor in the expo this year, put it down below in the comment section. All right, so I'm gonna bring in Johannes first. Johannes, hello. One of my favorite parts of Automation Fair is seeing the partners. We don't get to see them. We don't get to interact with them the whole year long, at least from marketing side of things. So I get so excited at Automation Fair to actually see them in person. Can you tell everybody why is it so important to us at Rockwell Automation to have our partners join us? Yeah, certainly, Nicole. I mean, as we all know, right, having our partner network companies at Automation Fair gives our customers the opportunity to see our joint solutions in action. Our customers are coming to our event to see the latest technology and solutions that can help address their individual problems. And while Rockwell has a fantastic portfolio of products, software, services, and solutions, we don't do everything. And this is why we built a network of partners, best in class partners that help extend our portfolio to bring innovative and transformative ideas and solutions to our customers. It's a win-win for the customers, partners, and for Rockwell. I couldn't agree more. We love our partners. We really need them. They help get our products out into the world. We just, we wouldn't be the same type of successful without them. And it's a very, very type of network that we have. Different kinds of partners make it up. Can you give viewers an overview of the different kinds of partners they can expect to see at Automation Fair? Absolutely. You will see many of our partners from our partner network at Automation Fair. And that includes our distributors from around the world, original equipment manufacturers, partners, also called OEMs, our strategic alliance partners, system integrator partners, and last but not least, our technology partners. And we're always thrilled to be joined by so many of our partners and representing and showcasing our latest industrial automation solutions to our attendees at this marquee event. So many of our partners are able to come to the event in person, which is awesome. We also have a very large amount of partners that are going to be in the expo hall this year, showcasing their solutions and their products. Um, can you give viewers a quick glimpse of who they can expect to see in the expo this year? Yeah, so we'll have our strategic alliance partners, Microsoft, Cisco, PTC, Anderson Houses, showcasing our joint solutions at the expo. You also see many of our key technology partners like ePlan, Imperx, Envent, Domino Mjet, Hammond Power Solutions, Metla Toledo, and Stratus Technologies. In total, we have about 120 exhibiting partners, including some OEMs, all showcasing their latest industrial automation solutions with Rockwell Automation. It's a lot. There are a lot of partners that you get to see out in the expo. It's a very big show floor. I have to say, just like one of my personal favorites, and I'll give a little shout out, Spectrum Controls every year has such a cool theme for what they show off. A couple of years ago, it was Ghostbusters. Who knows what it's going to be this year? 
the partners are just so fun to see out on the expo. So make sure that you come and check them out. If you're wondering who's going to be exhibiting the full list, we'll put that in this post so you can access the full list of exhibiting partners. And if you love partners, you are in luck. We're going to have another live stream that's coming up a little bit later after this one where we'll have a few of our partners coming on to talk about what they plan to show in the expo. So make sure you're watching our social channels and you don't miss that one. Johannes, thank you so much for that information. Um, so in total, we have 222,000 square feet of show floor space this year. Yes, that is right. Wear comfortable shoes. It is very large. <laughs> in addition to our partners, we are also going to have our Rockwell booths, like we always do, showing off the latest and greatest Rockwell stuff. So let's bring in Jenna. Jenna, can you give viewers a glimpse about what they're going to see from Rockwell this year in the Expo? Yeah, absolutely. So attendees can expect to see a lot of our new hardware, software, and services this year. We actually have over 50 new offerings that will be showcased in the Expo, so it's pretty exciting. And personally, I'm really excited this year for our attendees to see a recreation of our Cybersecurity Operations Center. So we're going to be monitoring an OT network and then staging real-time cyber attacks and how we'd remediate them. So you definitely want to make sure you make time in your schedule to see one of these live demos. They're going to be scheduled to run four times on Wednesday, three times on Thursday. So you have, you'll have several opportunities to make that happen. That's really cool. I remember that from last year, and I know there's been some cool updates to it coming this year. So that's definitely going to be one to look forward to out on the show floor. Are there any other demos that you think might be you know interesting to share here? Yeah, sure. So, you know, we're going to have some really cool things to see in the industry pavilion, like the personalized medicine demo. We're going to have an electric vehicle demo and a couple of robotics demos that you'll want to check out. We'll also have, you know, several different cloud software demos for our factory talk suite. So we'll have design studio, optics, twin studio, and factory talk edge. We're also going to have a Plex APM integrated solution with fix. You'll definitely also want to check out the Armor Kinetics and Armor PowerFlex side-by-side -side demos. We've also got a PowerFlex 755 TS. We've got a supply of power wall that would be pretty cool. And of course, you're going to be able to see one of the newest additions to the Rockwell portfolio Cubic and their modular system. So lots of stuff to see for sure. I'm so excited about that last one too. Of course, a brand new addition to the show floor and what a great way for everybody to learn more about Cubic. So I know we pack a ton of amazing things into the week of Automation Fair. It is usually a very busy week. Um, could you narrow it down to like maybe <laughs> three goddesses out on the show yeah. floor? It's going to be tough to narrow it down and I'm probably going to mention more than three here, but <laughs> so I would definitely encourage everyone to check out the sustainability booth before you step into the industry pavilion. And of course, you got to take a walk through the innovations tunnel featuring the contactor line. On either side of that, you'll have the cybersecurity operations center and then Calypso with their end to end digital thread demo. And that will lead you to the technology and services showcase where you definitely want to check out that enterprise and cloud software area for some of those demos I mentioned. We've also got a hands-on demo this year on how to service a drive across its lifecycle, Flex 5000 IO, Plant PAX. I mean, the list really goes on, and I know that was definitely more than three. Um, so make sure you add all of those to your list, and I guarantee that once you're in the expo, you'll find so many more great innovations you'll want to check out. So I would plan to hit the expo both days in between your sessions, forums, and other activities that you have going on to make sure that you see it all. You know, you definitely did more than three, but that's okay. I really <laughs> like the way that you talked through it though, because something that we know on our side as marketing that our customers don't always know is we try to tell a story out there where you're starting at your industry, you're learning about what's new and you're working your way into specific solutions. So I love how you ran through what's on the show floor kind of in that order. And we're hoping that you as attendees of the show get to experience that as well. And like Jenna said, book some time. It's big. There's a lot to walk through. It's open 8 to 5.30 on Wednesday of the show and then 8 to 4 on Thursday of the show. So in between whatever sessions you're planning to go to, actually put a little hold on your calendar so that you can get out there and see everything you want to see. Um, Johannes, Jenna, thank you so much for sharing what you know about Automation Fair. I really appreciated having you here. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you at the show. Yes. Thank you as well. So for those of you listening, registration is open. 
And like always, it is free, so you have no excuse to not sign up for the show. Visit RockwellAutomation.com and you'll get the link to sign up. You can also find that link right in this post. We'll put it right here for you. Get yourself registered. And thank you guys for watching today. We'll see you in Chicago in November. And remember, stick around. We're going to play that short sizzle reel that shows the new hardware, software, and services that we're going to be featuring at the show. Thanks for tuning in.